What's up, y'all? Back at it, like crack at it. Another one. Hope you're having a beautiful blessed day. First off, first off, obviously I say that. Hope you're having a beautiful blessed day. And um, today, this video is about talking about spirituality and the problem. The problem with spirituality, because a lot of people don't think there's problems with spirituality. There's problems with everything. I. Right? So this is, we're going to talk about the problems with spirituality, problems and specific with spiritual influencers and spiritual YouTubers. I am one. They be finessing y'all. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that if you see spiritual people and spiritual YouTubers, they always selling something. Now, there's nothing wrong with making your money. There's nothing wrong with making your bread. Go ahead, do your thing, right? But when they say uh, insert blank is a miracle cure and there's no scientific research about it, which I'll get into, you know, how science is actually, it is important for spirituality, right? But when they say uh, this is blank, this miracle cure is blank and they're selling it to you for like $40 and shit, you, you, you got to have a level of discernment and a level of awareness. Like, what is this? Is this person really spiritual? Is he just trying to make a buck out of it? Because nowadays spirituality is trending right new age spirituality it's not new age we just we, we call it new age because it's new to us but people people have been doing this practice for years right so it's not new age but it's trending right so a lot of people hop on this trend and they try to make money out of it so that's something you got to be aware about they be finessing people and a lot of people just use use spirituality, use gullible people, and make a lot of money out of this trend. What that takes me into is number two. People don't do their research. There's a little bit less about influencers. There's a little bit about, uh, you know, watchers, consumers, really. So what I mean by people don't do their research, if somebody says something, niggas, niggas don't do their own research, right? They don't go on their computer and they don't, you know, look up, Oh, does does your pineal actually uh, calcify this because of fluoride in the water and all that stuff? I'm not saying that's true. I'm not saying that's false. I, I've done some research, so I think that's true. But just because I say it's true doesn't mean it's true. You have to do your own research, and you have to resonate with what you resonate with. So, yeah, man, there's a lot of people who just trust what somebody says just because they say it, okay? I never trust what anybody says. Don't trust what I say. Don't trust what other people say. Don't trust what this YouTuber says. Don't trust what this influencer says. Don't trust nobody, bro. Do your own research. Don't even trust... When, once you do your own research, you don't even bring up one page of research and be like, that's what it is. No, nah, bring up other things. Bring up something that disagrees with your opinion, okay? That's how you That's how you find true knowledge. That's how you find true truth. Because you bring up things that disagree with your opinion. So, number two is people don't do their own research. If somebody tells you something, even if it's a very trusted source, you have to do your own research. Always do your own research. Don't just let a belief create your reality just because somebody said it. No, nah, do your own research. No one is enlightened. No one is enlightened. Not a damn person, okay? Until you die, until you go to source, you're not going to be enlightened. I have a book called um, Autobiography of a Yogi. And he, is, he himself and his gurus they're all very enlightened people, way more enlightened than the people, than the gurus you see on YouTube and shit, way 20 times more enlightened than them. But they all have the awareness that they are still in the human body and that they, they, and that they cannot yet advance to those higher levels because they are trapped. They are jailed within the human body, okay? So, and these people are super enlightened, like I said. They're, you know, they meditate for hours. Read, um, autobiography of a yogi very good book if anybody on youtube or anybody or any instagram person or anything like that say that they're enlightened or they act uppity and act like they uh like know everything nobody knows everything all right so have that it's all about awareness this whole list is all about awareness okay because you can easily get finessed by some of these people you can follow somebody for years and then you find out they're fraud I, I've, I've seen things like that okay I've seen things like that multiple times. 
Nobody knows everything. Everybody's got flaws. I so have that level of awareness that no one is enlightened. Nobody knows 100% of everything. Okay, four. Number four. Life is neutral. Life is neutral. Spirituality is neutral. Everything is neutral. Nothing's good. Nothing's bad. Because it's like this. People make these channels. People make these videos. And even me. Yes, me. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm the same name, right? People make these things and they act like, oh, this is good and this is bad. Okay? We're in a higher perspective. Everything is neutral. Okay? Yeah, watch my video on you are the luckiest person in the world because I show logically how you can literally think of yourself as the luckiest person in the world because everything is neutral. Some people think Donald Trump is good. Some people think Donald Trump is bad. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the belief that they created in their mind. So it's not that he's good. It's not that he's bad. It's neutral. Life is neutral. Everything is neutral. So if somebody says something's good or if somebody says something's bad, that's just their belief. Truly, that's just their belief. That's just like, <laughs> like, bro, you can look at, uh, you can look at a good perspective of anything in life. If you break your leg, bro, you'd be like, damn, I broke my leg. But you know what? Because I broke my leg, it's going to heal back stronger. So maybe next time I won't break my leg. Like you can, you get what I'm saying? You get my point. That was a bad example, but you get my point, right? You can look at a good perspective and a bad perspective of anything. So when somebody says, so you have to have a level of awareness and a level of discernment to when somebody says something like, oh, this is good or this is bad. Like that's their belief. You know what I'm saying? And we all do it. But I'm just telling y'all that because so y'all don't, you know, automatically think just because somebody says something is good, it means it's good. No, go, it goes back to, uh, goes back to number two, do your own research. That's it. Do your own research. See what resonates within you. That's it. All right. Number three, number four, life is neutral. Number five, a lot of y'all finna hate me for this. A lot of y'all finna hate me for this. But I'm gonna say it. Science is very important. Yes, science is very important. Research in science is very important. Shit that niggas do in the lab, bro, that's important, okay? I view spirituality is it's science that hasn't been discovered yet, okay? Because we all know that your phone has crystals in it. That's how you can communicate with people. Your phone has crystals in it, blah, blah, blah. So crystals actually do have power in them. But how would we know that crystals do have power in them if we didn't have that scientific research? You know what I'm saying? So when you use science to back up uh, your spiritual beliefs, people gravitate towards it more because you actually have evidence. You know what I'm saying? If you just say, oh, um, you know, the sky's not real. What? What does that, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? That, that's just gonna slip through minds, bro. You actually have to bring science. You have to have to bring scientific research. Not everybody's lying to you on the internet, bro. If you look something up, you know what I'm saying? And like 20 results says that this is true. 20 different scientists say that they've done uh, research in the lab and they've done experiments that says it's true, then yeah, it's probably true. Not everybody has an agenda. Not everybody's lying to you 24 seven, bro. So you gotta have you gotta have that awareness. Science, science is very important. You know what I'm saying? There's there's pictures where they can take they can take pictures of your aura now. You know what I'm saying? You know, look it up. Do your own research. You know what I'm saying? Or I forgot what it's called. Or re or photography or something like that. They can take pictures of or look it up. Right. So that's something that makes people be like, oh, auras are real because they can actually take photos of your aura. You know what I'm saying? So science is very important. Science backs up spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Another one is egos. Egos, right? Everybody has an ego. If you're making YouTube videos, you have an ego. <laughs> you have an ego. I have an ego. You have an ego. Everybody has an ego. Egos aren't bad. Egos are just a tool, right? But a lot of these spiritual YouTubers be like, oh, my ego is gone. I don't have an ego no more. My ego is gone. 
bro, you will always have an ego. And that's why I say read autobiography of a yogi because they go into things like that. They're spiritually awakened. They're spiritually enlightened. But they are they were aware that they have egos. They were aware that they have personalities. Like you don't have a personality, bro. What? You know what I'm saying? Everybody has agenda. Everybody wants something. Everybody wants money. Everybody wants to gain money. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody wants to gain subscribers. Everybody wants to gain followers. You telling me if you lose all your subscribers in a day, you don't you wouldn't care? Like yes you would, bro. You'd care, right? That's your ego. Your spirit don't care about that. Your spirit don't care about that. That's your ego. You don't want you don't want a bigger house, bro. You don't want a nicer car. You don't want this, that. Yes, materialistic. You can admit that. Yes, materialistic. We all got a little bit of materialism in us. We all want the nicer things. We all want the finer things in life. But you did not admit that is worse than you just being like, yeah, I can be a little materialistic sometimes. Yeah, I want a nicer thing. You know what I'm saying? I want to treat myself sometimes. You not admitting that and you being like, nah, bro, I don't care. I don't care about any of that. It makes people feel worse. By lifting people up, you're bringing people down because people watch your videos and they're like, damn, you know, I'm materialistic, but this YouTuber I watch, they're not materialistic at all. So now, now I feel bad. And now I feel bad about myself. And that's lower vibrational. So if you like just admit, admit your flaws, man. Admit what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like I don't like when people run around acting like they don't got flaws, acting like they, they don't got ego, acting like they're the most enlightened person ever. Cause they meditate on a body for your yogi. I'm not, I'm gonna make a book review about that once I get when I once I get finished reading it, I'm gonna make a book review about it. Because it's like it's a very good book and it's like I read this chapter and it was talking about how Paramahansa Yogananda, which is what the book is about, he talks about how he went to the Himalayas mountains and he, he felt like he wasn't awakened. He felt like he wasn't enlightened. There was times where he meditated and he couldn't even, you know, he couldn't even get to the higher states of meditation. You know, there's a whole there's a whole thing that I highlighted and he, and, and uh, his guru was talking to him and he and um Paramahansa Yogananda was like, you're not enlightened yet. You're not, you know, you're not awakened yet. You're not something, something like that. He said something like that. And then he was like, well, years because I meditate for 40 years doesn't mean that I know the whole entire secrets of the universe. You know what I'm saying? It's something like that. I'll put it, I'll put it up here somewhere, but he said something like that. And I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? There's people on YouTube who be like, <laughs> they meditate, they start to meditate like Elijah and they be like, oh, I know the secrets of the universe. Like, it's good to know knowledge, you know, find your knowledge, get your knowledge, you know, but, you know, you're not, you're not super enlightened, bro. So chill out. <laughs> I said for this one, guys, I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you resonated with the words I spoke on today. I don't want to take too much of your time. Free consultation on Instagram. Like always, daily videos, like always. So like, subscribe. All that. Peace out.